Hi everybody, today we're doing a bit of pasture topping. So it's the uh, 14th of June today, 2019, um, and uh, which is a Friday. And we have had a very wet week. It's rained every day till today, since, since Monday. So we must have had a couple of inches by now, since, since Monday, and uh, it's been very welcome because we didn't know it at the time, but actually this time last year was the start of the drought. So <clears throat> it was when uh, we did have a little bit of rain, rain about this time last year. Um, but after that, we didn't have hardly any. And as we know, we, we know what went on uh, became of last summer. So, so we're welcoming the rain we've had over the last few days. And there is still more to come yet. It's, it's sunny today, but we've had a little bit of drizzle blowing along in the wind. So today is probably the driest day of the week we've had so far. So what we're topping today is we're topping half of a field. Um, the one side's been grazed off and, uh, and the, the, the cows are grazing the second side at the moment. You might just see them behind. We, we split the field in two because it, it's quite a big field for us. It's not probably not big for anybody else, but it's one of our bigger fields. And it takes too long to, to do it in one go. So we split it in two, we feed one side, and then we can fence them off that, let it grow again while they're grazing the other side. And this field is they've been over this two or three times now grazing it, and they're not eating this 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 round. They're not eating. It's going to seed a little bit. Some of where they've been dung in previous grazings, they're not eating that. So what we're doing today, we're cutting that off. Um, so that it starts again from nothing. We've had all this rain now, it's quite warm. So that will, within about 10 days, it will all be shot up again. And it will be nice and even. And when they come back to it, and I don't know, in sort of three weeks time, when there's back enough back to graze again, they will then take the whole lot down because it will all be fresh and the same, same stage of growth. or not um, but this is what we're dealing with so this is bits the cows have eaten down to a sensible level um, and these are bits they don't want um, you can see there's it's gone to seed in places and down they, they haven't eaten this because it's where they've been dung in on their previous grazings um, so what we're doing we're taking the lot off just running over taking it all down to the same level and uh, and what's come off because it's a flail topper it's all smashed up um, and that will just disappear down in and this fresh growth will come up through so this is our machine it's a uh, KRM flail flail machine um, it's got a hydraulic offset on it so if we look from behind what you can see um, it's stuck out slightly one side and then this wheel run the run the cut edge up here so we've got a bit of an overlap and then just one wheel running in the crop um, and the, the action of the rotor will bring that back up and cut it clean and then it's got the roller on the back and the benefit of having the roller on you can see it spreads out the dung what well, that's that's quite a fresh dung pack there um, and as the roller goes over it that spreads it out 
Um, and then when we get that rain come in in the next few days, that will, that will wash in. It's just like slurry spreading, that will wash in and the fresh grass will come up through and a uh, little bit of a better, a bit of a better view there, how it spreads it across. So it won't be such a concentrated area when it comes up uh, and make it too strong for the cows to eat. Just to finish off the video, I've come into a field now that was topped off 10 days ago and you can see there's plenty of fresh growth come back. Um, it's done its job. So this was just the same as the one where we were earlier on. Um, so we've taken all the seed heads off. This has been grazed probably um, more times than the one up the top there. So just as a point of interest, if you've followed uh, this channel since September of last year, this is the field oversown uh, September of last year. And, um, it, you, and there was still evidence of the seeds we planted. Um, they're still here. So uh, we'll take a look. We'll go down and find some. Right, so here we are, right down in the bottom. There's a nice little, get that out of the way. A nice little cluster of the seeds that we planted September of last year. So they've well established and, uh, and they're doing well. So it'll probably be about another 10 days or so when this field here and the one up on the brow there, um, that, that was topped at the same time. And the one up there, again september that was re that was a full reseed so that that was a video we did of plowing that we didn't film drilling it but we did put out a video in october of when it was coming up so if you want to go back and find that um, i might put a little little thingy somewhere so you can you know go and have a look um so i think we'll uh, draw this to a close now it's, it's covered the the actual why we top um, a little bit of doing it and the end result which is where we are now so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.